and welcome to Let's Talk About Business. Today, we will talk about regulatory requirements for medical devices and the way to CE marking of medical devices. I'm very happy to introduce our special guest today, Roman Stift, who is quality management consultant of BHS Technologies. Roman, welcome to today's talk. Thank you for having me. Have a Welcome to my home office. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will jump right in with my first question. Could you please shortly explain what is BHS Technologies about and what makes it so unique? Mm -hmm. uh, we are a very young company at the moment. We are five years old now. Uh, and we started five years ago with a product idea. Uh, and the product idea was to uh, make the uh, uh, operating microscopes for surgeons uh, better. We'll mm -hmm. make a little revolution. And the revolution looks like this. Just uh, cut off the eyepieces from the microscope and uh, make it independent from the, from the uh, optics. So that you can see it freely, that's the first thing. And the second thing is uh, hands-free working. That means not uh, no hands. That means uh, you don't have to use your hand for the tool, for the microscope to bring it in position. It's, it's, uh, it's more about using your head and with the movement of your head, the cam system uh, system is following you, uh, your movement. Yeah, so you don't have to put down your tools and don't have to make a break of your work and uh, readjust your your view. Yeah, and that was the revolution of, of the thing. So we try uh, to make uh, the surgery process better for the surgeons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I describe uh, this product with my own words to check if I yeah. understood it in the right way? Yes. We have a microscope, mm -hmm. and uh, this microscope is reacting to my head or eyes movement. Yeah. So when I'm standing in an operation, and when yeah. I'm as a doctor doing an operation, mm -hmm. um, I have full availability of my hands, and yes. this microscope is reacting to where I'm looking with my head and showing me then the picture. Exactly. Sounds <laughs> very interesting. What is the name of this product? The Product is uh, the, with the name robotic scope because it's a robot arm, yeah, okay. to, for mm -hmm. the movement and the scope for the uh, magnification. Picking up here the robotic scope product, uh, when you first registered this product, what mm -hmm. were your biggest challenges you were facing? Uh, the registration is just one little step in a long, long way of uh, being compliant. Yeah, that means compliance means uh, that you know all the uh, requirements you have to fulfill for the whole life cycle of your company and your product. Yes, and it's just only the first step to get registered and to, uh, to get a name for your product. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's just one little step but you need a lot of documents <laughs> to get this registration done. Yeah. So uh, actually the registration itself isn't a big thing, but the whole compliant thing start with day one with a good plan. And uh, yes, a, a good management system uh, to achieve uh, uh, good documentation that you get afterwards the registration in an easy way. So basically, you're saying that it's not a single event to hand in one time the required documents, but you have to establish a process to gather all the documents and maybe adapt them in the uh, further work you're doing. Yeah. Um, what are the most important do's and don'ts in this process? You're just yeah, describing. come back to the, to the, to the thing. Uh, the registration is just only for one market, the European Union or is... Mm -hmm big thing now yeah and that, that uh, USA uh, is a big uh, market but there's just there's are two different registrations now there's one the FDA the other is the MDR uh, is so, one market easier than the other <laughs> no nah, nah. nah. they, they are similar and are not 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 the same so this is the, the next thing you have some little differences <laughs> between those those markets 
and, and uh, different requirements in, in, a, in a way. You have to fulfill all of them. Yeah, There's just only two markets, yes, and then you, you go to Russia somewhere, India or something, yeah? and then registration, 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 registration. It's a permanent process. Yeah? Uh, laws are changing, uh, standards are changing, registration again. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a permanent process. It's not a once in a lifetime. The first thing, the initial registration, for sure, it's it's, it's a big thing. Yeah, uh, and then it's easier. But uh, uh, you have to uh, bring up a frame, a system to, uh, to to keep your compliance alive all the time. The registration is not a huge issue. Yeah, that sounds like a full workload you're facing here. Yes. How many people are involved in this process, and how much time do you spend? in this process each day? Yeah. I'm the theoretic guy. I'm doing the framework for that and I'm trying to, to optimize the processes for it. Yes. Uh, and Eric um, is the, our regulatory affairs agent and he does the content for the things. And we work together uh, since two years now for, for all the things. Was it longer? I think two years now. Yeah. And, and yeah, we're getting better and better every day. Uh, and and We are the, the, the head of, of the compliance thing somehow, and we have to, to punish all our employees okay. <laughs> to, to keep the awareness high and to, to bring all the stuff, to have a good documentation of each and every little piece of our uh, 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 device. Yeah. Okay, so it's basically you and your colleague. Mm -hmm. Are there any other parties involved? Do you have a service provider for the CE marking process or yes. do you do it by your own? Yeah, uh, in-house, that is for sure also the, our CTO, that's, that's Mike, uh, he do, he's the, the technical uh, chief of everything, so he has to take care about the, the technical uh, 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 compliance. Uh, we do the, the, the rest, yes. And then for sure, we just, yeah, I mean, the inner circle is talking uh, and talking and we do our own bubble, yeah, so that's uh, can go in the wrong direction. So it's very, very good when you use uh, uh, people from out, out, uh, from from external and we use a company for the registration uh, process for the, for the whole, uh, uh, I don't know, for the, for the, for the, uh, for, for the whole uh, clinical processes and so on. We use uh, all, always external uh, people yeah, to get fresh ideas. Is it um, difficult to find the right partner no, in this market? No, no. Uh, it's not difficult. There are many on the, on, on the market for C marking, you know, uh, as well as, as, as for the registration thing. You have to find your bodies uh, with the same language. That's that's the thing. So, yeah. you know, we are not the, the type of people and we are not super, super uh, um, mega. Uh, our thing is the, the content and, and the targets. Yeah. So we are very target driven. And yeah, we are not, not really into making a lot of paper. <laughs> I assume it takes a lot of time, but as well, it might be very cost intensive. Is that right? Yes. So yes. have you heard, we started with day one. So uh, the, when the, the when Mike, as a BHS is uh, uh, Burger, Hütter and Santec, those are the three founders. Mm -hmm. And th uh, those three guys uh, thought, To, to, to start the company. The first thing is they called me and said, every time do you want to come and uh, bring up a, a management system? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this was day one, yeah, to, to make all the processes. And so the investment starts there to uh, achieve a good uh, a technical documentation, what you can use for all the compliance uh, things. And then, uh, Uh, early come uh, to the company and so on. So it's, it's a huge investment. It's a lot of time uh, because it's a medical product. Yes. And a medical product has to be safe. Yeah? And uh, safe means don't kill people. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. When you don't kill people. Uh, you mentioned the day one. Uh, how, how long did it take from day one until you completely... Uh, fulfilled all the standards for your regulatory process for your product robotic scope? How much time did you invest? Okay, so good question. The, the thing is, first, we, we try to make a, a simple uh, management system. That means we have to uh, have a, 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 
uh, process for our development mm -hmm. and, and, and to, 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 to check out what we have to fulfill on, 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 on uh, forms and on, on, on documents. That is the, the, the first part. It was the ISO 13485 certification. Mm -hmm. That was done after 11 months. Okay. So, yes, but um, uh, I've, yeah. That's my, my part of that. That was easy at the start, but then uh, when, when the documentation for the for the for the product comes into into, into account, uh, the, the whole development thing take a very long time. So it took two years, two or three years, okay. and uh, we have a, a huge pile of paper of documents now. That's, we have around five thousand documents. Uh, what makes out our uh, product? Yeah, and the product is not only the device itself. It's the whole thing around it. That means all training, uh, 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 documentation, all marketing things, everything you can imagine around the, the, the product, uh, 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 around the device, is, is, uh, has to be compliant to all laws, to all standards. Yeah. Do you think you could cut down the time if you do it the second time and you have some kind of experiences? No, because our uh, micro we grew yeah we mm -hmm. when we start with uh, with four people communication is uh, uh, way easier yeah and you start with uh, less uh, documents yeah and mm -hmm. now we have uh, 50 people and now we have uh, 5000 documents and you have to take every each of these documents into account yeah to 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 uh, make your technical documentation technical documentation is not that much yeah so, so taking this point, what would you recommend to our students when they want to develop and to register a medical device? Start at day one, that's the first thing. Because when you start uh, with, the, with the documentation, uh, uh, when you want to have your CE mark or want to, when, you, when you want to have your registration, then it's too late. Then it takes two to three years to get mm -hmm. everything together. Yeah, because then you have to make the whole re-engineering and, and everything, and this will not work. Yeah, that will take too much time. It will make you, it will, will drive you crazy. Yeah, <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah. So a good plan is, is the first of it. And from the plan, you have to take care that you all the way down to the to, to end of life of the product is compliant. So I have a last question to you. Yeah. You were mentioning 5,000 documents, a very long process. How do you motivate yourself? Where do you find the joy in doing this work? It's, uh, it's fantastic how the things all work together. We made a pretty awesome system uh, where you can, our system works like you can for, go from this document down to the user needs, to the, to the yeah, and the linking uh, of everything together works so well. So when you go into the in, uh, yeah, into the production, take a piece, a part of it, you can go from this part to the user needs back yeah, in the documentations, and it works pretty well. And and yeah, very proud of that. And that, uh, yeah, and it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Roman. Thank you very much for being so honest and giving us a fantastic insight uh, behind the scenes here in a startup and doing this re registration process. It was really brilliant how you described it and what uh, challenges you were facing. Thank you very much for being here and being my guest. And I'm looking very much forward for our next talk when we have another insight in your company. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And that's just only the tip of the ice cake, you know. Uh, uh, it's so much to do. And yeah, it don't, it never gets boring. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much.